Four things to keep in mind when dealing with an emotional child. In this video, we will be going into validation. So validation sometimes gets confused with agreement. You can validate someone without necessarily agreeing with their actions. So for example, I've had kids who've walked into my office and talked about getting in a fight with another kid. I can validate why they may have felt like they needed to get into that fight without necessarily agreeing with them getting into that fight. So for example, the kid can tell me, my friend left me out of their group chat, so I got angry at him and I pushed him. I may not agree with the fact that he pushed him, but I can agree with how he felt hurt by being left out. So validating the feelings is very important when you're dealing with an emotional child.